guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I just felt like playing with loads of color. So I wanted to create a really fun, gorgeous, pretty easy to recreate rainbow cut crease. And I'll go ahead and leave some artists a link down below that kind of inspired me wanting to play around with some rainbow colors today. I really hope that the look that I create inspires you or you learn something new from the tips and techniques that I share. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and click that notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. Also be sure to check out my Instagram linked down below. I post everything makeup there including makeup photos and tutorials that you won't see here on YouTube. But yeah I cannot wait to play with lots of color today. That is literally my favorite thing to do and I've actually never created a rainbow look before so I am so excited to go ahead and get started. So we're going to prime the lids today using the P. Louise base in the shade 0 using this Sigma large shader brush and this is actually my first time trying this base and I couldn't really test its performance because I am using liquid lipsticks today rather than eyeshadows but straight off the bat it was a lot sheerer than I expected so I did have to go in with a second layer to really build up that coverage and then I just went in with some translucent powder to lightly set it into place. Going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Queen Bee using the Morphe Y23 brush. This is going to be our first shade in our rainbow cut crease. So I'm focusing this in my inner corner and using it to create the guideline for the shape of our cut crease. And then when I have less product on the brush, I'm going to be blending it up towards my brow bone. The next shade we're going in with is Flamethrower and I'm going to be doing the exact same process. So I'm creating that line to act as a guideline for the shape of this cut crease and then I'm going to be gradually blending it up towards my brow bone and also blending it between the two shades to ensure that we have no harsh lines. The next shade I chose to create my rainbow is Anne Nicole and of course you can customize these colors. You know, you don't have to create a rainbow. You could go in with different shades of blue or pink and create a beautiful gradient. The options are honestly endless. Just get really creative with it and I'm sure whatever colors that you pick, you will have loads of fun creating it. I know that I had so much fun creating this look and it just inspired me to use even more color in future looks. For my pink, I'm mixing the shades Queen Supreme and Watermelon Soda and I'm taking this shade past my brow to really elongate my eye and create a dramatic, fun cut crease because we want each of those shades to have their own moment, you know? We don't want a small cut crease where all the shades are squished together. We want that gorgeous, soft blend and gradient of color. I'm going in with a second coat of each shade and I love to use liquid lipsticks as bases. I think they make the shadow that you apply over the top so much more vibrant and pigmented and for a look like this where the look is all about that blend, it's so much easier to blend liquids together rather than powders. I'm taking a flat brush and I'm going to be stamping on Sugar Pill Cosmetics shadows onto their corresponding liquid lipstick base color. So starting off with the shade Buttercup and at this stage I'm not worrying about creating that blend up towards the brow bone, I just really want to get that intense pigmentation. Then going in with the shade Flame Point and really the only blending that I'm doing is blending it between shades to ensure that we have no harsh lines. Then picking up the shade Love Plus and I'm using tapping motions rather than circular or swiping motions to ensure that we don't move that liquid lipstick base. Then going in with the shade Dolly Pop before picking up a blending brush to blend that harsh top line of each shade. It's now time to clean up the edge of that cut crease. So I'm just going to take a flat synthetic brush and some concealer and this is going to make the overall look look more precise and sharp. Now going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics shade Breakfast at Tiffany's using that same Morphe Y23 brush and I'm going to be doing the exact same process as the previous shades except I'm going to be creating a winged liner shape. So I'm focusing this shade in my inner corner before moving on to the next shade, which is Jawbreaker. Whereas with the previous shades, we were blending out that liquid lip. Whereas with these shades that we're going to be using to create that winged liner look, the only blending that we're going to be doing is between the shades because we want that nice, solid, pigmented color. 
Then going in with the shade Blue Velvet. And what I like to do to blend between the shades is go back in with the previous shade that I used. So going back in with Jawbreaker to diffuse that harsh line. The final colour in my rainbow is the shade I'm Royalty and I want a little bit more precision when creating that wing so I'm using the Sigma Winged Liner Brush. With some makeup remover on a cotton tip I'm just cleaning up the edge of the wing before sharpening it even further with a little bit of concealer. So the eyes aren't finished yet, there's still a way to go, but I do want to move on to the face for now. So I'm going to start off by colour correcting any darkness under my eyes using the Astralis Colour Clique CC Concealer in the shade Peach using the Sigma Baked Precision Brush. I'm going to be using a foundation that I have not put down since I started using it and that is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation and this is in the shade soft bronze to match my fake tan and I also mixed in some of the Becca backlight priming filter just to give my skin that dewy glow but like I said I have been loving this foundation the coverage is amazing the finish and it is drugstore amazing love it <laughs> and I'm just blending that out using the Morphe white six brush and I'm going in with the Sigma large shader brush to get a little bit more precision with my application around my brows around that winged liner as well as that fresh new piercing for concealer today I'm using the LA girl pro conceal in the shade porcelain and I'm just applying that under my eyes and down the center of my face to highlight I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent to set those liquids into place and I'm starting off by using the Morphe Y11 brush under my eyes and the Morphe Y1 brush to set the rest of my face. I want to sculpt out and just create a little bit more definition to the rest of my face so I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. To warm up my skin I'm going in with the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Rosewood. For blush today, I'm actually going to be using one of the eyeshadows that we used on our eyes. So in the shade Dolly Pop, using the Morphe Y3 brush just to tie the face and eyes together. Then for highlighter, we're using the Jouer Powder Highlighter in Rose Gold. And these powder highlighters are one of my favorites. And this was actually my first time using this shade. And just look at how gorgeous it is. I, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Then diffusing any harsh lines from that highlighter using that same blush brush. It's now time to fill that empty lid space. So I'm going to be going in with a base shade. So I'm taking the Makeup Geek Cosmetics Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Whimsical. So before I go in with a little bit of glitter, I wanted to find the edges of that cut crease and winged liner. So I'm going in with this Super Beauty Hydro Liner in the shade Space Panda using the Sigma Winged Liner Brush. And I'm just creating a line on the edges of that eyeshadow. Time for a little bit of sparkle, so I'm taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Distortion. And I think this really takes the look to the next level. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be using the exact same colors. I'm going to be doing the exact same process as that winged liner. And then I'm going to be lining my waterline with the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Out of the Blue. I'm coating my lashes with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara before going in with these gorgeous, fluffy, voluminous lashes by Tati Lashes in the shade, in the shade, oh my goodness, in the style TL2. And how gorgeous are these lashes? I think they just made the eyes pop. I'm highlighting my inner corner and brow bone using this same highlighter that we used on our cheeks. And because I am that extra, I added a silver gemstone to my inner corner and I absolutely loved how it looked. For lips, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use one of those bright colorful shades that we've used on the eyes or if I should go for more of a nude shade. But I decided to go in with the shade Watermelon Soda. It's that gorgeous pink shade. But as I was applying it, I was thinking, oh, I think this is a little bit too bright for the look. You know, it's drawing too much attention away from the eyes. And when we worked so hard on this eye look, we want all the attention there. So I decided to go in with my favorite nude shade. So the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hunty. And I preferred this much better. I popped in some cute little red earrings and then this is the finished look. 
Oh my gosh, I absolutely love how this turned out. It has to be one of my favorite looks I've done and I really hope that you like it too. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.